what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here uh we're going to be talking about the fact of uh why victor salva might be might be reluctant or hesitant to sell over the rights to the jeepers creepers property to another intellectual being or to another person or piece of uh another person or company who would take over the rights from him and do what they please with it uh to the best of our knowledge, we know that Victor Salva is the rights holder to everything regarding the property and the series of Jeepers Creepers. Uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to be talking about some things that I know would go into uh, if someone is a rights holder and how I believe it works. I, again, I'm not 100% certain any of this is actually going on with Victor Salva or if this is actually how it would apply in this same in this same uh, circumstance. Uh, because I, 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 again, don't have 100% knowledge on how financing or payouts work in the filmmaking industry. But I'm going to just, uh, again, just make a speculation video as to why Victor Salvo might not want to sell the rights. So, to the best of my knowledge, if Victor Salva is the rights holder, anything and everything regarding uh, this, this franchise in terms of sales and revenue... Victor Salva is entitled to a portion of that. He gets what's called, I believe, royalty checks. I believe they're called something different in the filmmaking industry. But as long as he holds the rights, anytime you go out and you buy a copy of Jeepers Creepers or you go out and you purchase and rent Jeepers Creepers from Amazon, Google, or any of these places that have it available to stream, unless they have something in their contracts um, where they said anyone convicted of a certain crime is exempt from any type of royalty checks, which I doubt that's the case. But if you go out and you purchase Jeepers Creepers, a portion of that is going to go back to Victor Salva <clears throat> and like royalty checks. Uh, since he's the rights holder, he's entitled to receive some type of those, uh, some of that revenue that the streaming service would be getting in or that uh, you would get from purchasing a movie that he's the rights holder too. He's entitled to get royalty checks from that. So like anytime people go out and they buy those Funko Pops, uh, I believe any of that revenue that comes in from those Funko Pops, Victor Salva is entitled to a portion of it. Now, if he sells the rights over to another piece, to another person or to another company, uh, what's going to end up happening, to the best of my knowledge, is he would A, no longer be able to get any royalty checks or his royalty percentages are going to be cut in half. He's not going to be getting the same amount of money he was getting because he doesn't solely hold the rights anymore. He's just now the creator and perhaps the creator is still entitled to get some uh, financing back. I believe that's something I've come across in the past. Uh, again, I'm not too real certain how it all works and I don't know for a fact if Victor Salva even gets royalty checks from these from these films but to the best of my knowledge if i'm a betting man i want to say that's probably the biggest reason why he does not want to sell the rights because if he sells the rights he's not going to be getting the same amount of income that he was making off of this franchise or he quite possibly not be getting any from it at that point because of the simple fact that victor salva does not have a career that is uh, making waves in the industry in, in a positive in a positive light for that matter uh, He's not known for several films. He's known for Jeepers Creepers, being the director of Jeepers Creepers, being the creator of a series that's been around and talked about for the past nearly 20 years at this point. Next year will be the 20th anniversary of the original film. Uh, and that is what Victor Salva's name claim to fame is. Uh, he has done other projects in the past, of course, that we all know, like Clown House, uh, Powder, and uh, Rosewood Lane, I believe, is another one he worked on. Uh, so the given the fact that he doesn't have like the biggest track record when it comes to filmmaking and he is known for jeepers creepers that is his claim to fame so if he sells that and we know he hasn't worked on anything since the release of jeepers creepers 3 uh if he sells the rights over and he gets rid rid of the rights he's not going to be getting that the same amount of royalties he's been getting because he's not going to be the the sole owner of it or he might not get anything and then again, I don't know for certain if he's actually getting royalty checks right now, but that's probably, again, the biggest reason why he is not going to want to sell the rights. If his strongest source of income are royalties from the success and the continual syndication success of, of Jeepers Creepers and all of, all of these other things that go into it when you guys go out and you buy these Shout Factory collectibles, uh, these collector edition copies of the films, when you go out and you purchase these Funko Pops and you purchase anything that has to do with the franchise, all of that, to the best of my knowledge, a percentage of that is entitled to go back to Victor Salva because he is the series creator. Um, and I feel like that's, I, I, to, my, to my understanding, that's how it works. If he gets rid of the rights, 
there goes his Jeepers Creepers money. Unless he is actually going to want to or somehow have something lined up to make a name off of for himself other than Jeepers Creepers, I do not see him selling the rights. And that's that's honestly the biggest reason why. Another reason why he might not want to sell the property is because he doesn't trust somebody enough to actually put this put his vision on on the uh, silver screen in a way that he feels he would be um, more he he would accept i don't feel like he sees anyone else being able to complete the franchise in a way that is fitting to him and his vision uh which is kind of sad honestly I, I feel like there's several different directors i know a lot of you think there's several directors that can come in and take over i know a lot of people talked about eli roth talked about i myself and mitch mentioned uh neil marshall possibly taking over because if you've seen the descent you know Neil Marshall is very talented and well versed when it comes to creature features and even some of you are fans of Dog Soldiers that came out the same year as Jeepers Creepers or the year after if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Neil Marshall knows knows a hand or has a hand in making very well made uh, creature films. So if Victor Salva were to sell the rights, him losing his royalty checks and not getting any type of income anymore or a smaller percentage than what he's already getting is probably going to be the biggest reason why he does not want to sell the rights. Um, Another issue that we might have with him not wanting to sell the rights is because of the fact that, again, once he sells the rights, uh, that's going to have to go to somebody else. Maybe these other studios are not wanting to take on that bad press because we know how the media operates and we know the first thing that's going to come out of the come out of the public eye or be pointed out is the fact that let's say Blumhouse acquired the rights. Oh, Blumhouse acquires the rights to convicted child molester Victor Salva's Jeepers Creepers people on the internet and people who are just going to read whatever they want to read and interpret it in all these types of toxic ways are going to read that Blumhouse bought property from a convicted child molester and then they're going to say oh Blumhouse is a supporter of child pedophilia Blumhouse does this all these toxic things that we know is not the case but that's what people are going to get just because someone bought the property to a to a series that a convicted child molester is responsible for does not mean that they are condoning their actions it does not mean that they support anyone who is condoning said actions and it does not mean that they are giving victor salva a pat on the back and a job well done but of course you have these toxic individuals who are so against what victor salva did but then they come right back at you with this toxic mentality that if you watch his films and if you go out and you see his films that you are condoning and accepting what he did that is completely completely just not that's that's just the wrong thing to even say and it's very toxic because you're these are the same individuals who are while you're upset with what victor salva did you're then spreading nothing but hate and things that are just way far too extreme for you to sit down and say that someone is condoning what Victor Salva did simply because they saw a movie he directed, that's absolutely insane and that's just flat out unacceptable. But that's another reason why Victor Salva might have an issue selling the rights because maybe other companies don't want to do business with him. Uh, just for the simple fact that they don't want that bad press. But I'm, I'm not really too certain what's going on with Victor Salva or why he hasn't sold the rights. And again, I don't know for certain if he does get royalty checks, but if he does, again, that's probably why he doesn't want to sell the rights because if he sells the rights, there goes those royalty checks and there goes that income that he's getting from Jeepers Creepers. Because if I'm not mistaken, Jeepers Creepers is uh, for a better part of uh, several years, it held a, a record for the Labor Day weekend uh, for the highest opening Labor Day weekend until it was beat out by another film. Uh, and then I think the second film actually beat out the first movie to get that record. And then the second movie held it for a long period of time until it was beat out a couple years later by a different movie. Uh, so Victor Salva, his, his claim to fame definitely is the Jeepers Creepers series. This is the thing that's still probably getting him all, a lot of uh, recognition and a lot of money. If, he's, if he is getting royalty checks again, if he's getting royalty checks... I, I can understand why he's not wanting to sell these rights because this is what he's known for this is all he has he's not working on anything he doesn't have any upcoming projects he's not actively working on making a fourth movie at the moment uh, so that's probably the biggest reason why he won't want to sell the rights another reason being he might not trust somebody to put up to put the vision out in the way that he thinks would be fitting unless it's him and then studios might not be wanting to do business with him because of the bad press and how the media is going to twist it and then they know how you guys are going to react to it and those people who are just toxic with that mentality that if you go out and you see a movie that he did that you're condoning what what he did to these children and that's 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 just not acceptable whatsoever um but those are the reasons that Victor Salva might not want to sell the rights to Jeepers Creepers. I know it's not something that we all 
are the happiest with but at the same time you if you're a business person you understand what i'm what i'm basically speaking on if this is what he makes his living off of and this is what his biggest biggest claim to fame is i can understand why he won't want to let that go uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram in the in the comment section below um i'm gonna have a link to the facebook group go ahead and join that group so you can discuss anything horror related uh and again if you haven't already subscribe turn on post notifications and i will see you in the next video